Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have plenty to talk about in this video uh, related to some of the stuff that is happening to JPD for later tonight and into the month of August. Uh, for those who have not been keeping up with JP, uh, there are going to be a few major changes which has already been implemented but it's not shown up yet in game. It should start showing up uh, here with the release of VV's FR and BT with the next six Warriors quest fight so uh, basically JP is reducing the amount of events that we are getting every month previously it was six events now it is going down to four events and then the other thing is that basically like on every event there was going to be a new BT character so there is a good amount of questions that has been flowing around at least for me one of my biggest questions and concerns was like are they going to increase the amount of of uh, BT resources they are going to be given to us seeing as how we are going to be getting a BT every banner so to meet up with the demand of all of these new BTs and whatnot like are they are they going to be increasing it well my answer was or my answer my question was actually answered and we're going to get into that in this video so there was plenty to talk about again there will be timestamps down in the description of this video or in a pinned comment if I, if I remember to put it and uh, you can check that out for or you can look at what you are most interested in so uh yeah let's go ahead and start off and bear with me because i am going to be going off of two different sources of translation so uh if i mess up on something i'll i'll make sure to correct myself in a pinned comment but uh, but yeah, uh, so first things first is going to be the new quest ticket that was added. So these quest tickets are going to be, or you are able to obtain them um, via the mark pass, via the, via the $5 mark pass and the $36.99 uh, USD mark pass. So uh, with the mark pass, the regular mark pass, you will be getting 10 of these skip tickets. And then the premium mark pass, you will get 30. So these, these tickets right here are meant specifically to be used only on completed quests. You can use the ticket and you can basically just skip it. You'll get all the rewards and whatnot for whatever quest it is that you are using them on. And that's that's pretty much it. So I mean like this could possibly be a, a new way to be able to speed up or maybe like farming. That way you don't have to waste uh, or you can, well I guess like not you not waste time save time however you want to take it uh when it comes to like farming like mats crystals uh maybe like summon board points whatever um these tickets could potentially uh save you a little bit of time with that so that is it for that one uh next up is going to be the next six warrior quest area four as you can see we are going up against uh Arinea's, uh boss uh, yeah, I mean, Abinaya's bosses, and not only that, but we are also going to be fighting a brand new boss as well, which I do not know the name of. But uh, this is a very interesting boss. If I'm not mistaken, the 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 image that was rendered out uh, over on Rems, this city, uh, the uh, Discord server, excuse me, uh, looked like it, it was wielding a spear. So we'll, we'll have to see on that. But this this uh, next six warrior quest will be the release of. Um, VV's uh, FR and his uh, BT weapon, which the showcases have not been released yet. So uh, hopefully at some point today, or if not later tonight, we'll get a showcase for that. Uh, next up is going to be just a couple, uh, I guess, like a notice, a notices for some of the some of the upcoming stuff. But this right here is going to be talking about the summer campaign that JP is having, which is going to start uh, tomorrow. Uh, so first off, uh, there we are going to be getting the return of the 50 plus 1 banner. So basically, we have a chance of getting uh, some FRs within this 50 and 1 multi, but we are guaranteed to get at least one BT. Now, I know that global players are going to be asking me, when is global going to be getting this? We first got this on the JP side for our 5-year anniversary. I highly doubt that they would release this early for global, but global should be seeing this banner uh, come the global five-year anniversary so uh i know that you guys are really wanting to uh get this banner over on the global side um but uh, we're gonna have to continue to wait until global's next anniversary which will be in february uh so that is that uh, next up we're gonna be having a daily final fantasy banner so uh basically uh throughout the next few weeks we are gonna be getting 
daily multi draws for this banner and this banner is going to change based on the uh, Final Fantasy characters for the banner so as you can see here uh, we do have the banners for the first week or I guess like starting tomorrow uh, for Final Fantasy 1, 5, 6, 10 and 15 tactics and Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and there will be a daily multi draw uh, so that will start uh, tomorrow and then it'll change up depending on on the date so uh, it, it's gonna be mixed up I just kind of threw you know the first uh, line that I saw right there on the screen so like not what the the Final Fantasies that I just said just now won't be like the exact uh, ones that you're gonna see on the banner. It's going to be different. Like uh, the next the next couple of daily multi draw ma uh, banners that you will be doing will be different. Uh, but these banners right here will include everything, including FOS, but the BT. So there will not be any BTs on these banners. So you do have a chance on pulling any on any of the FRs that have been released up until now. I'm not sure if Neon is, is included in this banner, but I guess we'll find out uh, once the... Um uh, what you call it? Once these uh, banners start dropping, but this is a daily banner multi, uh, free multi draw. So JP players, make sure to log in every day and make sure to go to this to the uh, to the banner screen so that way you can uh, do your daily free multi draw. Uh, next up is going to be, let's see here, uh, we do have the return of uh, Minru. Uh, Minru's uh, BTNFR is being reran, and this is actually going to be dropping on the 25th, which is part of the summer campaign. Uh, not only that, but we also have uh, Anacross's FR weapon that is going to be attached to this banner as well, and I do believe there is going to be a free multi-draw on that one. Uh, we do also have a co-op campaign, which will be able to get some goodies like uh like the bt nugs high power stones and i believe there is a sticker that we are going to be getting which i think global does have already but this starts on the 22nd of july and also on august the 17th uh we also have the cactor thing that's the whole daily token uh, shenanigans and whatnot uh it looks like we are going to be getting some tickets uh via the co-op event if i'm not mistaken via the text that we are looking at here um, so we, so everybody will have access to some of these skip tickets. So, and that includes, of course, free to play players. So, you know, for, for free to play players who don't buy Mog Pass or just in general, who, uh, players who do not buy Mog Pass, uh, we, we, you guys will be able to get, uh, at least some of these new skip tickets. Uh, there will be chocobo pandas, of course, like the usual stuff for one now. That's not any different. Uh, this right here, I believe is related to brand new players. Uh, which I believe they they are going to be temporary, temporarily increasing the amount of gems that you are getting um, for uh, whenever you complete uh, the Act 1, Chapter 1, or I guess like the beginning chapter or whatever. Uh, I believe there is a temporary increase, but I am not sure. I will double check on this and I will make sure to correct myself down in a pinned comment. Uh, Sarah is going to be getting stickers on the 29th of July, and she is confirmed to be getting an FR and a BT as well. So uh, that is that. There's going to be uh, times three cycle quests and whatnot. We got the uh, magic pot and all that good stuff, etc., etc. Sales. Uh, this right here is an FR token, which, yes, you do have to purchase. Uh, it's, it's basically the same thing as an LD token, except that it is for FRs. And uh, you can use that to pick up an FR, I'm, I'm assuming, based off of what was released as of... Uh, a certain date so we'll see whenever that that releases but that releases uh tomorrow uh there is the ld token which is you know i think everybody knows uh, what that is uh we do have some sales going on etc etc uh we do have sarah's uh alternate outfit that is going to be dropping on the 29th and uh, that that is going to be it for this notice now we do have a few other notices as well uh we do have a twitter campaign that's that is going to be happening this is not the first time we've seen this twitter campaign uh this right here is pretty much uh, you have to get a certain amount of retweets, and you also have to retweet other players' uh, retweets. So this, is, so this right here will get, grant you access to get some free goodies, as you can see some of the goodies right there on the bottom left of the image. Uh, so if you do have Twitter, make sure to get this done. It's a daily thing that you have to do for, and I mean for free goodies. I don't see why not. Like you know, just make a Twitter account, do all this stuff. Uh, I will post up a community post with instructions on how to do it. It's super simple. It's not hard to do at all. You have to link your 
your uh, your game to your Twitter and whatnot. So that way, uh, whenever the rewards start start uh, dropping onto uh, your gift boxes, then you will be able to get them, and it, it'll go to the to the correct account. Uh, next up is going to be uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I will get back to you guys as soon as possible But it looks like we have a chance of getting some tickets and then finally we are gonna be jumping into the big boy part Which is going to be the infiltration report. So let me pull this up real quick bear with me Alrighty. Okay, okay, so uh, first things first and a big thank you to um, Medai uh, over on the default main core discord server uh, for providing the, the translations to this but so there are going to be some upcoming changes for events now the first thing which has me really curious about and I can't wait to see this tomorrow uh, is going to be related to the enhancement point limit adjustments uh, adjustments god I can't English <laughs> So, up until now, enhancement points were shared between main event and related events. But starting uh, on July 22nd, which is tomorrow, each event will provide its own enhancement points. So, my guess to that is that it, it is going to be that we will be able to get enhancement points maybe via the co-op tokens. Uh, or yeah, like the co you know doing co-ops, you know exchanging the tokens for like the, the crystals and whatnot that we normally get. I'm going to assume that they are also going to include enhancement points. Now we don't know the exact amount uh, for for this. If that is going to be the case, we're gonna have to wait, and I will let you guys know. I will I will make a community post uh, as soon as these the event goes live if I'm awake, uh, and I will get that information out to you guys. But hopefully this will be a uh, a good thing especially to free to play players will they be able to get more enhancement points and i'm really really hoping that's the case because free to play players have been struggling from what from what i have been reading in the comment section and for what i have been told free to play players have been struggling really hard to keep up with the demand of enhancement points so hopefully that's the case we're gonna have to wait and see uh next up is going to be related to the force gauge synergy so for each synergy used in Lufenia and Shinryu fights, the starting force gauge will increase. So if you have one synergy character, it will increase by 10%. Uh, two synergy characters will increase it by 30%. And then three synergy characters will increase it by 50%. So basically, at the start of a quest, uh, more than likely, if, if I'm understanding this correctly, um, it will increase or like it'll, it'll automatically increase it's not going to add on top of what of what abilities you use or anything like that it, it's going to be at the start of the quest uh it will increase based on the number of synergy characters that you are using per fight which is a good thing uh because like when you think about it that could mean that that could that could equal different team setups that, that you can actually do like maybe you don't even have to have an fr charger at that point if you're using three synergy characters you know what i mean like there's different things that you can actually do uh, with uh, with them granting us the the ability to have a higher force gauge at the start of the fight. Also, uh, Rem over at the City of DB did know that it looks like uh, they are also going to be boosting the amount of uh, uh, oh, excuse me the force gauge when it comes to the six warrior fight. So if you do use six. Um, six boosted characters you can actually start off with the gauge fully maxed out and ready to use uh five characters will increase it by 80 percent four characters 60 percent and then the uh the, the usual uh, three not the usual but like the the three synergy characters 50 percent uh two synergy characters 30 percent and then one synergy character 10 percent so uh, not bad very very interesting i'm curious to see what you guys think about this uh down in the comments section below um now the feature feature synergy. So each featured synergy character, example characters who are getting a new FR and or BT will be featured as synergy for the next event after theirs as well. Now remember, uh, we are getting that that whole uh, shrinking of events thing where we are going down from six events uh, down to four. So whatever character, let's say in the first event for the month. Uh, whatever synergy character it is for that event, they will be synergy for the following event in the following week. 
Uh, if a character gets featured without an event, they will be featured as synergy for the events before and after their event. So that, that's pretty cool. Uh, next up is going to be uh, difficulty reconsideration. So, all main stories, lost chapters, intersecting worlds, etc. will only be available in the hard difficulty. Huh. I wonder why they decided to change that. Because I feel like that might not be a good thing for any newer players. Unless they are really about to spoil the hell out of newer players. That's a little interesting that they are deciding to do that. I mean, for like veteran players, it's not an issue. But like... Uh, for newer players, I feel like that might be uh, a bit of a challenge. Maybe, 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 maybe. You know, because every every player is different. Every every person in general is different. So, uh, yeah, that's a very interesting change. I did not see that when I was like briefly looking over this. <clears throat> now, uh, when it comes to reward changes, this is the thing that I was a little bit concerned about, which was answered for me. So, uh, each event will have its main reward that the event will focus on providing. In, a, in addition, to match the increase in BT weapons, the number of pages of Ruins, Miracles, and Ultima Nuggets provided will increase. Thank God. So, for uh, some examples. So, August Intertwined Wills, or Intersecting Wills, that event will be dropping four high power stones, 60 FR shards, 20 pages of the Ruined Miracles, and then 20 of the Ultima Nugs. Uh, for the August new character event, uh, they will have 10 BT tokens. Yeah, uh, 10 BT tokens. I kid you not. I Like, literally, you can see the image right there. Uh, 10 BT tokens, 20 of the Ultima pages, and then 40 of the Ultima nuggets. So yes, we are getting the exact amount to be able to BT plus uh, said new character, or just like any character, it, like whatever character it is that you want to go for. So uh, that is that is great. That is fantastic. I feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that uh, they are increasing the amount of uh, pages and nuggets that we are going to be getting uh, now that every character is going to be getting a BT. So that is fantastic news. I feel I do feel a little bit more comfortable now. If they didn't increase it, then I would actually be really concerned because, like, you know, to try to keep up, at least for myself, to try to keep up with content and all that good stuff, like, I mean... <laughs> I mean, these, these, you know, these resources are very limited, but to see them increase in it is great. Um, skip tickets. They will allow the skipping of already completed events, uh, and these can be obtained from the Mark Pass and Mark Pass Premium. Now, the exclusive 10 plus 1 pool tickets. Now, these are different from the, um, from the, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> From the tickets that you exchange whenever you are over the 300k gem cap. So each number on the ticket re <laughs> refers to the event event number that can be used. So example, ticket number 4 is used for the 4th event of the month. <laughs> Uh, which is going to be, uh, let's say, for example, the Six Warrior Quest. So uh, the, this ticket, which can be obtained from the Six Warrior Quest, is by clearing the Six Warrior Quest Area 4 that is going to be coming up tomorrow night. Oh, not tomorrow night, but I guess later tonight into tomorrow. Uh, using Vivi and getting a perfect score in the Six Warrior Quest Area 4, and then clearing the Summer Campaign Co-op Part 1 Lufenia stage. In addition, 30 skip tickets and one exclusive pool ticket for, or number, yeah, exclusive ticket, yeah, exclusive pool ticket for will be presented to all players. So basically, um, to be able to get like these tickets, uh, it seems like you do have to meet like certain, I guess, like prerequisites uh, to be able to get them. I don't know if you get one for each of these prerequisites, so we're going to have to find out whenever the content drops. But it seems like since these tickets are marked by a certain number, I'm going to assume that they are only to be used on whatever events that is being released per month. Now, I don't know if these tickets will roll over uh, for the following month. Again, we're going to have to find out and see. But it looks like uh, that, at least at least how with how I am taking it, is uh, how it's going to be used. So, uh, I will post these translations down in, a, in the pinned comment, uh, if I do remember. Uh, so, that way you guys can check it out uh, for yourself if you're curious to uh, read over this as well. So, uh, yeah, that is it for that. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, if we keep on going, um, oh, okay. So next up is going to be the World of Illusion Spiritus Bahamut, where Sarah is going to be receiving uh, her FR and a BT. Sarah and Shalada are going to be receiving uh, FR boards. Now, the synergy characters include Sarah, Realm, Steiner, Freya, Shalada, Kees, Vivi, Minru, and Anna Cross. So that's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, and then, as you can see, there is the BT weapon and the FR weapon for Sarah. Uh, next up is going to be the intersecting worlds for Mog. In this story, Mog will show how brave he is as a Mugro warrior. There will be a Shinryu co-op to be featured with this event. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be the brand new character. So this brand new character is uh, Ruby Kante. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. If you guys are curious to see who exactly this is, uh, this is a character from Final Fantasy IV which is this person right here. Apparently, according to what I have seen in my Discord server uh, and a few other Discord servers, this this uh, person uh, is a boss and uh, is related, or not related, but like I guess like s close to Edge. I'm not sure. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But this is the new character for the month of August. Uh, let me pull, pull back my, my little notes. Uh, so yeah. He is a fire user who covers his whole body with a red cloak and has a rivalry with Edge. He will be released with uh, along with the Summer Campaign Co-op Part 2. And then BT tokens can be obtained from the shop for that event. So pretty cool on that. Uh, next up is going to be Transcendence number 14. So there will be a single challenge that has been showed up in OPOP Burst 1 will start alongside with Transcendence 14. Clearing the quest in this event rewards points. The more points you, own, you earn, the more rewards you will receive like tickets and more. They really are going, going all out with uh, some of the stuff that is... Uh, that is going to be, or at least like with all of these changes and whatnot that is happening. So that's cool. Uh, now, let's talk about reworks. So on July 22nd, Vivi is going to be getting a rework. Uh, Sarah is going to be getting a rework on July 29th alongside with Shalada. Uh, Mog is going to be getting a rework on August the uh, August the 5th alongside with Squall. Squall's getting a rework. Damn, it's been forever since Squall has gotten a rework. Interesting. And then... Uh, Kurasame is going to be getting a rework on August the 23rd. Now, regarding uh, the Act 4. So, Act 4 is being planned to be released at the end of August. Alright, sweet. And then finally, uh, the last little note that I do want to make uh, is going to be that... Um, uh, with the uh, the app update that we got uh, last night, version 1.65.0, they added a user data deletion option in the setting to allow users to delete their account data. So that's uh, that's interesting, but all right. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to add that on there. And then for rewards, uh, for for everything that is happening, we are going to be getting uh, 30 skip tickets and then one of these uh, brand new tickets, which I believe is has the number one logo on it. Oh, not number one. Uh, number four. Yeah, Roman, Roman numeral number four, which I believe uh, could be used uh, for the upcoming VV event for the uh, Six Warrior Quest. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I know that there was a whole bunch of information. And, you know, hopefully if you reach this uh, by the time... Yeah. If you reach this point of the video, uh, a, a big thank you for watching everything. But... Uh, <laughs> I can't English, man. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.